All right, everybody, good morning. It is Tuesday. Scrap with Grandpa, what's next? Well, I am loading some scrap metal. Go make a quick buck at the scrap yard. So I've had some goodness dropped off in my driveway. Let's see if I can't get it off real quick and get it thrown in the truck. Off to the scrapyard. Get as much of this little wire that I can get out of this, I don't even know what it is, whirlpool, whatever. My, my son-in-law brought this over to me. He's a appliance repair guy. He is also the guy that does my um, HVAC recovery, um, compressor recovery. I always take off my motors. <clears throat> Hit me right on the toe. Look at that nice motor. Straight to the scrapyard. Look at that clean motor. All right. Probably a couple other things I can get off of there. A little transformer with some copper motor in it. Pretty sure that's copper motor. Let's see. I think that's about it for that. Let's throw that thing in the truck. Scrapped. I don't see anything else on there I really got to gotta have. See how heavy this thing is. Oh yeah. Scrapyard. Yes, sir. There's one item. What have we got here? We got a microwave. Now we got a microwave. Cut the cord. Throw it into my scrap later pile. Oh, let's see if there's anything in here that's good. Oh yeah. That's good right there. That's good right there. My sister sells them on eBay. I'll give that to her. I tell you what. I'm not even gonna take it apart. fell off. Goodness gracious. Sorry about that guys. I didn't mean to drop you on your head. Right on your head. Get some of this scrap metal out of here today. Got to go, got to go. This is for my sister. I got a couple, two or three of them laying around here somewhere. Oop, oop, don't go nowhere. Let's see here. Gotta get the cords at least. What we got here? Oh, a long cord. Take it. Looks like an old pool pump to me. I'm just trying to get some stuff loaded. I got to go to a couple other places. A couple other places before I can go to the scrap yard. Be saving all my wires. Save the wire, guys. I mean, that's two or three pounds right there, which means about three, excuse me, three dollars. Dollar five a pound for extension cords. <clears throat> Not bad. Not bad. All right, let's see what's in this thing before I. Hey, Jamie Love. How you doing, honey? A couple pieces of aluminum. I 
I can't even open that one. It's brook. It's broken. I can't even open it. Where can I stick that microwave? I'm not tearing it apart. You've seen me tear apart. I don't know how many of these microwaves. I'm not doing it today. Gotta go. Got to go, got to go. Huh. Goodness. Get back. And I don't want to get I don't want to get this all caught up now, do I? Don't want to get this all caught up. Got my motors in here. Get them to the front. This thing's gonna be the only thing sitting on my stuff. When I get there, I'll move it. All right, now, oh, look at that. I always take off my aluminum screens. Oh, there's a few things under there I'll have to get. When I get there. Let's see. So this thing really is in my way. Got a lot of stuff in my way right now. What we can do here? A little more room. I gotta get that. That's what my problem is. Go. There we go. There we go. That's better. That's better. Boy, this big spring thing is kindly in the way. Spring fling thing. Get in there. There we go. Got to make a little room here. Got some non-ferrous going in. Got to make room for it. Let's grab my grandpa. What's next? Yeah, it's not going to be the, the greatest load. Maybe I should take that thing right off of here. I think that's the way. Man, this little thing needs to go. Something. I need all my go right here. That's where I need it. So I put myself into a bind, hadn't I, guys? Get out of here, I don't care. Get out of here. Fix you later. I will fix you later. I don't think that needs to go nowhere. Yeah. All right. Loading. Heading to the scrapyard. Scrap metal recycling with grandpa. Oh, let's see how heavy this stuff is. See how heavy this is. Yeah, my sister sells all of them on eBay. Makes a killing on them. Hiya! All right, how heavy are you? Oh, pretty heavy. That's a refrigerator. Hmm. That's a figure. Maybe the refrigerator don't go today. Maybe the refrigerator don't go today. There we go. All right. Pull stuff. I just showed up back at the house one day and all this stuff was laying out here. 
I'm not 100% sure where it came from. Sam I am. So I'm gonna finish loading up right here what I have at my scrap yard it got dropped off. And then my sister has some stuff in the back of her pickup truck that she wants me to come and get. Uh -huh. So today is Tuesday. What did everybody do last week? Huh? Who had a good week last week? I know I know I had a pretty good week last week. I just kind of enjoyed myself. I did more relaxing last week than I did probably in a month. Probably more relaxing than I did in a month last week, and I enjoyed it. I sure did enjoy it. I'm trying to Stay away from people that are smoking. <sighs> Hardest thing I ever did. Trying to quit smoking. Stinking. Ridiculous how hard it is to quit something like that. How hard it is. Everybody's like, look, man, just say no. Don't do it. It ain't that freaking easy. Come on, man. If that easier, everybody would quit. You know how many people want to quit smoking? a lot of hard work to quit smoking guys unbelievable okay all right a couple more things here like i can say this is a refrigerator my son-in-law works for not works for he owns jamerson appliance so anytime he pulls out something like this refrigerators um wine coolers he has uh a bottle that he collects the I guess the Freon in and um, I wish I had one of them bottles he's licensed I'm not so thinking maybe one day I'll see what it takes to get a Freon license so I can remove my own <sighs> oh that's stuff all the way down the hill yeah so I can remove my own but right now I do have two or three two hookups actually for Freon one is actually my AC guy that does my air conditioning. And uh, the other one is my son-in-law. He does appliances. So both of them have, have their license for that. I don't, but one day I will. So for now, uh -oh, don't break, don't, don't break. Okay. So for now, I just depend on them to do it for me which is fine too as far as I'm concerned if I didn't get a license at all and just let them do it would be great for me all right I gotta get this microwave in here and head to my sister's and I might as well go out and grab her Boy, this thing is heavy might as well grab her stuff while I'm here That's where you're going. I'm throwing my, throwing my head off here. That's twice already. I dropped you guys on your head. All right, guys. Whew. That was, that was a job. I'm not gonna say there's a lot of scrap metal in here, but I should get a little decent, decent price on it. Let's uh, hook up. Let's get hooked up. My sister Holly. Hey sister. Hola. How you doing sister? Here's Love stuff, you. Here. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? 
No, I'm good. The ladder is just inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't take that. But if you could help me take it off and put it in the back behind the. Oh, yeah. And then I've got this. I don't. It's just stuff. Stuff. Yeah, scrap it. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. And then I've got a bucket in the back I can't lift. Bucket so. in the back. Can't lift. A bin. A bin. A bin. A bin. Yeah. And I have no storage because I made a sale for my oh good for my things. So you want to walk out back with me? Yeah, with that lot you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. This ladder's in a little rough shape. I hope he's not using it too much. I'll tell you that. It's been beat up, sister. Yeah, I know, but you gotta be careful on these things, boy. And Jesse's not a little guy, he so. He doesn't, he doesn't uh, extend it. Yeah. My pool's gone. Pool is gone. I gotta love it. Nobody needs some pool equipment. I know nobody. All right, let's see. Watch the dog farm. All right, so sister had a little bit of stuff she wanted to get rid of. Now this, this is a bed frame. Bed frames are considered, um, heavy steel they're definitely made of better steel than regular steel so you want to save them in your number one steel basically because of the size of it but I'm gonna tell you today today I'm not saving anything I'm not bringing it back to my house if I can get this thing off of there. Yeah, it's not going back to my house. I'm done with it. It's got to go. Got to go. So I'm going to stick it all in my truck. Take it to the scrap yard just like it is. Oh, we got it. Let's get this thing down. Got to go. Got to go. My sister does storage buildings for a living okay, that's where she makes her money so she buys and sells storage buildings Shh. I'm surprised I'm surprised this is something that wouldn't I guess it's all messed up you would think something like this would sell ah, it's not messed up too bad gosh Core light. I bet you I can get five dollars for that in a minute on marketplace. I bet you five dollars that I can make five dollars on that. I guarantee it. So I will. If I see stuff I think I can make a buck on, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna make a buck. Grandpa's gonna make a buck. I'm surprised my sister. My sister would give that away. Now she might have tested it. Oh, I remember these things. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Exercise equipment. Oh yeah. Well, I tell you what. I used to have one of them things. And they will exercise the crap out of you, buddy. You put that thing around behind your back. Hoo wee. Yeah. Yep. I'm not going to be doing any exercising, so I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to keep it. Grandpa's exercised out. I exercised so much. What we got here? A screen? Yeah, some type of a projection screen. The light projection screens, yep. Okay. Let it go just like it is. Projection screen. All right. Uh, let's see what she got here. Hey, yeah. well, I think that's it, guys. What's next? I'll tell you what's next. I'm going to um, head to the scrapyard right now with this load. We're going to get rid of it. And then on the way back, I'm going to uh, the old Brunswick store. They have a hot dog machine think I got close or what guys they have a hot dog machine down there they won't get rid of and a couple other things so 
I'm probably gonna go down to the uh, Brunswick store and pick up that hot dog stuff and um, see if it works because if it does, I'm selling that on Marketplace too. Make that money, Grandpa. What a beautiful day. The sun is shining. It's not too hot. Not cold. This is Grandpa's weather right here, let me tell you. This is my weather. All right, got some non ferrous A few other miscellaneous things going in there today. The stuff that's in there is uh, uh, just stuff that's been brought to my house. My son-in-law has brought a bunch of that and I've tore it apart. Taking everything apart on it. Um, let me see, what else? Things that I've tore apart in my yard, just you'll see a bunch of them videos already, I'm sure. And then, yeah, some of the stuff I tore apart in my shop and I've just been loading it a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. That's one good thing about having a, <coughs> a good sized scrap trailer is I can park it right in my scrap yard at my house. And uh, as I'm separating my scrap metal, I can throw it right into my, my trailer and not have to have it in my yard. If I can keep doing that, guys, my yard is coming around. I'd rather have the scrap metal that's in my yard just be there until I can get it um, taken care of like this. A couple fan motors, I could not get to them things. Man, drove me crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm throwing away a couple good things in here. Let's see what else we got here. Do have a bed frame, I just picked that up. Um, normally I would bring something like that home and put it with my heavy steel. I just don't feel like bringing it to the house. Got a bunch of uh, motors here big and small that I want to go ahead and bring in and some uh, copper aluminum rads what else we got beautiful day beautiful day of scrapping yeah, I already got the motors out of them yeah. uh, anything in here uh, yeah let's get this stuff out of here get my gloves on What's going on? <laughs> Got a little bit of modus. Might want a hopper. I don't know. Got a whole basket of uh, pretty heavy. Pretty heavy, man. How you doing, Ryan? Trying to make it. Yeah, trying to make it? You ain't making it? Just barely? Don't tell me barely making it. I know you better than that.
What's going on, brother? How you doing? Doing good, bud. Doing good. Sorry about that, bro. So these will be my, my clean ones, and I got a few dirty ones. That? Yeah. All of you got them. Yeah, they all good. That's it. You got some on the ground. Yeah. And I've got aluminum on them. Some got aluminum. There's a lot quite a bit of aluminum. I just couldn't get it all off. As long as they ain't got the fans on. Okay, yeah. Okay. morning How you doing, buddy? Beautiful day, Kevin. Beautiful day. Oh, there it is. This iron is stainless. This this is uh dirty. I don't have a hammer to knock that damn thing off. I got a hammer. You, want you got a hammer? I'd love to knock that little piece off of there. I can't. Uh, I didn't bring mine. That's all it is. Yeah, I just forgot to knock it off. I think that's stainless. Dirty stainless, though. Bet it's gonna weigh the same with it or without it. Yeah, I appreciate that. I just, I didn't even, I thought I got everything. The only one I missed. Come on. Bingo. Just make that extra money, right? I usually have that done before I leave here. 42 pounds, baby. How much is that? Thank you so much. I don't even know. $387. <laughs> Well, I don't think so. I don't think so. John Henry. John Henry. Thank you, my yes, friend. Sir. I really appreciate you, my brother. Yes, sir. You have a good day, Ryan. Time. You too. Yeah. Scrap with Grandpa. What's next? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm gonna go way on the scale. What we're gonna do next? Yes, sir, baby. Get out of here and let somebody else in. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, it is Tuesday, and yes, I don't have my seatbelt on, but dang, damn it, do I really have to? I'm sitting in a parking lot. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's see what we got going on today. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Here we go. Oh yeah, let's see what kind of scrap action we can get here. Got a little bit going on at SMR, Wilmington, North Carolina. A little bit going on. Looks like they're building a pond over there. I'm not sure, but it looks like there's a little pond going on. A little bit of a pond. Let me get my iPhone out and see if we can get a little bit closer on that. Look at this on my beams. You know where they're going. Oh yeah, you know exactly where they're going. They're going back to the big machine. This, the, this uh, what are they called? The shear and the baler. That thing does both. It's incredible. Yeah, beep, beep. I won't go out. Bro. Alright, 
right, let's let them do their thing. Let them do their thing. There is a little bit of everything in that trailer. It is mixed like you would not believe. So, motors, metal, shred, I don't know, just, just a mixture of whatever today. They're gonna definitely have to do some separating. Uh, I'm getting rid of my motors. If I had a issue with it, I threw it away and give it to these guys. I don't do that very often, but every once in a while I'll give them some goodness. They're gonna pick through it though, I'm sure. They're gonna see some goodness that's gonna go right over there in that pile as soon as they start pulling it apart. Got a little eye beam, he's picking that eye beam out, put it over there. See, they separate this goodness. They know that there's more valuable stuff in some of this stuff that people bring in. Even myself, I do. I'm a victim. I'm a victim of it. motors over there see that right there is motors a couple motors i'm just going to give them they can get them tore apart any way they want to that any little bit of good stuff see that motor you pick that right out of there that's goodness right there nothing but goodness they're gonna separate them. look he sees that bed. the bed frame that's what he's looking for is what i believe He's gonna pull that bed frame out of there. Let's see what we got. That might be the last one. Yep. Get this last bit of stuff out of here. No idea what that is, but apparently it's not magnetic. some goodness in here they're gonna be separate now let me get out of here scrap with grandpa what's next let's go see how that little load we just got made us empty trailer you know what that means all right guys scrap with grandpa what's next oh my goodness i gotta love it wow not bad shred metal seven cents a pound seven cents a pound we had uh, 1,100 pounds. 80, 80 some dollars, not bad. We had um, copper, um, aluminum reds, 42 pounds. I was hoping for a couple dollars a pound, but I guess I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to settle for what I got. Is what it is, scrapping with grandpa. What's next? Um, electric motors. So Scrapman69, um, you saw you saw what I turned in for motors and they're electric motors. And for the most part, they are um, aluminum in them motors. Uh, there are some that have copper that I just wouldn't, couldn't, couldn't get out, period. So I sent them on that way. Um, but I think electric motors are electric motors, whether it's copper or aluminum. Um, although the copper ones, if you watch my videos, you know that I'm saving them aside and I'm going to be pulling the copper out of them and saving the number one steel that comes with them so I can turn that in as two separate items so uh, yeah I'll be watching for that video it might be a while though because I'm gonna save my motors until I have enough to make it worth it but I had a $247 day so scrap old grandpa is blessed thank you everybody for stopping by and watching my day if you enjoyed and you're still here please hit that like button and, and subscribe for more videos just like it. Scrap with Grandpa, what's next? This is what I do, guys, and I love it. I love it.